Wow, I wasn't expecting the update, the first one for Sons of the Forest to be so big and actually filled with content, not just bug fixes. Hang gliders, binoculars have both been added, brand new mini game, boss fight, defensive wall gates and a lot more. Hello right bags, it's Jade, welcome to the first Sons of the Forest update. Let's go through everything new and all the patch notes that you need to know. So quick disclaimer, you'll find spoilers for that boss fight at the end of this video, towards the end at least. I've also got a trailer from 100 days that I'm going to show you guys. I have got some tentative locations for the binoculars and the glider too. I'll be doing more detailed videos about them in the near future. I'm just going to show you on my gameplay that I recorded with this update quickly in the background as I patch or go through all the patch notes. So I did binoculars, a hang glider, defensive war game, a new mid-game boss fight in the food bunker. You'll now be able to reset your settings in the options menu. Virginia's missing leather suit that some players have been able to pick up and others not is now in the world. You'll also now be able to lock doors with a stick placed on the interior of the door. Built small structures, furniture can now be grabbed or grabbed it can either be placed again somewhere or thrown to collapse it and get back its resources. Some additional story elements added. New headshot death animation variation added for cannibals. Angry regular cannibals can attack now by jumping out of trees. Small birds will now land and eat game fullness. Added options are hide player name tags. Added options are hide projectile, reticle and trajectory. Fish traps should now work and catch fish every five to 10 minutes, as long as it's placed in water and the current season is not winter. Added lookout towers to some cannibal villages. Story paper pickups will now show UI to zoom in. And as a brand new structure type, the one-sided apex. It fills the space between the leaning beam and its supporting beam. It aligns automatically based on a leaning beam orientation, fits quarter logs variations to the right length automatically. There's a new sleep cooldown. No longer are you going to be able to just blitz through the days and nights. Set rest strain from hunger and dehydration to zero. Money cannibals will now get less angry from player proximity and in late game. Added possibility of player sleep interruption events from nearby enemies that can reach player. Tweaked fire drain rate to make using firewood more important. Tweaked berries to give slightly more fullness. Tweaked any drinks to give us half as much hydration and less energy buff. Tweaked amount of fullness and hydration all herbs and mushrooms give. Hard enemy health set and reduced to 1.25 health. Increased cannibal armor health by 1.5 on hard. Kelvin catchfish order will end after a time. Fixed opening the cave in late game having too many enemies. Adjusted some player melee events and ranges for better AI responsiveness. Halved shotgun damage. Boosted a C rest amount from 0.3 to 0.7. Added regular puffies to the dining hall. Increased health and creepies depending on amount of multiplayer players active. And a whole host of improvements. Red cannibal animation and blends. Fixed sleeping animation for female cannibal. Set up player effigy struggle idle for multiplayer. Fixed bouncy logs when deep in water. Performance speed up for world locators. Added logic to allow hatches and doors to be forced open when player has spawned inside. Fixed with some LODs sometimes not switching correctly. Fixed error calls when quitting while in death wake up. Unique story items are now force equipped when they are collected. Door orientation is now determined by the position of the player when placing it. The face in front of the player is the interior face. Adjusted deer and moose locomotion for better paving. Prevented placing bench so close to objects that players can be stuck when standing up after sitting on it. Added more small prop setup for melee impacts and collision. Added LOD optimization for the wall torch. Destroying screw storage now spawns stored items as dynamic pickups. Each greebles regenerated with coral rock sizes reduced. Bunker food fixed some small lighting issues. Added radio to bunker food. Turn the table cards for Mr. and Mrs. Puffton into story pickups. The fixes are absolutely massive. You can no longer cheese and get through doors with a stick. Kelvin cutting down trees with player structures attached has also been fixed. Keycard guests not opening the two doors in bunker entertainment and not being needed to get into the bunker residential. Fixed ghost blueprints not rendering underwater, for example the fish trap. Fixed stream underwater rendering glitches, potential issues on multiplayer disconnect. Multiple issues with input bindings, players stuck after dying while climbing rope, players able to place paper target on tarp collision, defensive wall option now available on non-grounded pillars, often resulting in invalid placement that gets ejected has now been fixed. And another fix for defensive wall log against the pillar made of log quarter variation causing an invalid placement. Destroying small animal dad trap trap. Destroying the small animal deadfall trap getting its resources yielded back twice has been fixed. Issues occurring when a fire is destroyed while interacting with it. Lifting tarp with stick sometimes not detecting stick being equipped properly when auto equipped resulting in an unnecessary delay before performing the action. 
Add in log planks to ghost blueprint structures by splitting logs automatically, not consuming a log properly. In this case where some elements from some unbuilt outlines could be removed, i.e. no more multiple infinite logs. Volume fix for cave visuals disabling when navigating in some corners of caves. Fix various open rock cliff edges in terrain. Case where Virginia grab bag interaction could trigger at the same time as pickup, leading to bad player state. Fix the case of player stuck attacking with spear after revive. Enemy armor settings not working. The animal count setting not working correctly. Player able to trigger actions while doing ground attacks has been fixed, especially some possible temporary stuck states. Fix some cases of small birds not being scared of player. Fix some incorrect keyboard icons for player inputs. Fix music not playing in title screen after leaving a multiplayer game. Alt and ground leaves shouldn't pop up as visually as much now. Players will no longer get into a broken state when trying to equip an item they are already holding and have maxed out an inventory. Fix the transition to move with tactical hatch which was preventing a tap block parry from activating during it. Fix the case where removing a beam supporting a pillar wouldn't relink the pillar properly of its new support, resulting in wrong pillar position calculated after cascading repositioning process. Fix wood stack loading from saves as an apex. Added player saving system for cutscenes. Fix the cave shark eating severed limbs looking broken. Fix some cave entrance bat scare spawn locations. Fix some eagle perch landing takeoff issues. Add a perch spot to tall dead stump. Fix the issue where walking over entertainment bunker could cause trees and other world objects to disappear. Cannibals should no longer snap long distances to climb into windows. Fix the clients no longer load into the correct season when rejoining a save world. Players held item at time of knockout are now remembered upon being revived. Tutorials will no longer be forced closed when opening the pause menu are instead just visually toggled. This should fix some tutorials such as to pick up the construction element tutorial from completing before the player's actually done it. Players will no longer slide down slopes when either utility book is held or when the player is in their inventory. Can no longer attach both the laser sight and flashlight weapon mods to the crossbow at the same time. Fix some case of multiplier client being able to duplicate logs. Fix repairing wood stacks not putting its element back in correct position. Fixed floating log when chopping down a tree with tree shell attached to it. Fix screw structures being broken apart have no audio. Tagged auto jumps off on portable light. Fix Kelvin dropping radios destroying the radio. Fix weapons given to Virginia not being returned with correct amount of ammo and weapon upgrades. Modify the fade distance and icon slightly to make them more visible. Fix for players being able to be pushed through terrain if another player stands on the head. Fixed opening hatches removing weapon upgrades from currently held weapon. Made sure players correctly aligned to death marker when dying at height level. Remove the floating life vest. Fix displacement digging visual breaking on some quality settings. And then a whole bunch of audio issues have been fixed. Wow, really impressed with that. That's a astonishingly big amount as you might expect. Huge amount of cheeses and glitches that everyone's made clickbait videos on, including me, have now all been pretty much fixed. And yeah, the idea they've added some brand new stuff, that is really good to see. So there we go, brand new glider. I'll come up with a video in two seconds showing you where it is, but here's a screenshot. Thank you, Spicy. Inside the actual bunker where you go and get in the kitchen stuff, there's new stuff on the screens. Also giving a bit of backstory about the previous game. And yep, spoilers, the boss fight. So you go into the dining hall and then all of a sudden, guess what turns up? The Puftons will emerge from the glass. Looks like they've got rid of maybe the silver lady or whatever that is. That was the animation that was there before you saw some characters. And now you're going to have to actually fight Virginia's mums and pops. Obviously beforehand you saw a John was sitting in Puffton's chair and then his wife didn't actually have a monster in it. So it looks like, yeah, they've both been transformed into mutants, somewhat like the cave dwelling, vaguely normal ones. With shotguns being nerfed, obviously they took quite a few shots this time, whereas maybe normal mutants like this would probably go down in just one. So it was at least four shots for both of them. And that's it. They do a fair amount of damage and stuff, as you would expect, but nothing too outlandish. It does more to service the story, which I'm really glad of. I'm really glad to see something like this instead of what we saw, which was just some dead mutants there. It did feel really odd that this room didn't have a boss fight, and as exactly as I thought, they did add one. And finally, again, thanks to Spicy, he showed me that at the kayak spot where you got the camouflage suit right in the north, that's where you'll find the binoculars. And just a quick promo from me to end the video, please go and check out my 100 Days channel. Here is the trailer for the 100 Days video. It's going to be going live this weekend. I'd really appreciate if you give it a sub and check it out, as well as all the previous live streams. And who knows, maybe we'll do another 100 Days soon. I will be live streaming some more Sons of the Forest on that channel as well. And I'll see you for more detailed guides about these new items and how the glider actually works in the very near future. Until next time, Ratbergs, laters. A billionaire family have gone missing and we're the only ones that can find them.
a dangerous island filled with muddies, cannibals, mutants and a whole lot more. Who is the mysterious silver lady? Will me and Kelvin become best friends? Do we ever get jiggy with Virginia? I'm going to show you guys how to base build. Go to Boganin, scream wee down zip lines as we search the highest peaks to the depths of hell. Can we survive 100 days of Sons of the Forest? Watch and find out. Let's go. A billionaire family have gone missing and we're the only ones that can find them. A dangerous island filled with muddies, cannibals, mutants and a whole lot more. Who is the mysterious silver lady? Will me and Kelvin become best friends? Do we ever get jiggy with Virginia? I'm going to show you guys how to base build. Go to Boganin, scream wee down zip lines as we search the highest peaks to the depths of hell. Can we survive 100 days of Sons of the Forest? Watch and find out. Let's go.